get a word then from our Talk TV correspondent who's joining us from Jerusalem. Tom Much is there. Um, evening again to you, Tom. You've been updating regularly on this. Tell us more about the situation today. So really what is going on here, the big thing that everybody is waiting for right now is will Benjamin Netanyahu pull the trigger and order a ground invasion of Gaza? It seemed that this is kind of imminent every day now, and the uh, Israeli defence minister was seen down uh, visiting his troops near the border of Gaza earlier today. However, there are still some very, very big obstacles that Israel would need to deal with. There is the presence of the 200 to 250 believed hostages that Hamas are holding, possibly in tunnels throughout Gaza. It would be very difficult to do a ground offensive that would in any way uh, be able to avoid casualties among those hostages. They also have to worry a lot about the potential of regional uh, escalation, like I spoke on the show yesterday, about the possibility of Hezbollah in Lebanon getting involved, who have a much stronger fighting force and a much bigger missile arsenal. So it really is that will he or won't he order the ground invasion, which could look extremely bloody, including for both sides. Taking Gaza, a huge urban city, would be a tall order. Tom, tell us about that visit from Rishi Sunak. What has the reaction to that been? So the reaction to Rishi Sunak's visit along with Joe Biden has been broadly positive. It is seen in Israel as something of a green light to continue what they've been doing. However, most people are still focused on Gaza and focused on the idea of whether there'll be a ground invasion or not. It was, it was seen as something of a diplomatic achievement, but it hasn't really changed or moved the needle in terms of you know, domestic politics in Israel here. Uh, there is a sense that as global leaders arrive, uh, President Biden a couple of days ago, Rishi Sunak today, arguably uh, more to come, uh, that in many ways this does delay any ground invasion. Is, is that seen as a, almost a Western tactic? If you keep arriving, showing up, shows of solidarity, all great. Uh, but is it putting off what Israel are intending to do in terms of that potential ground invasion? It could very well be. Israel would definitely not want, not want to launch a ground invasion while they do have another foreign leader on their soil, because it will be the moment of the ground invasion and the days after that are the potentially deadliest for people who are currently in Israel. So it could be part of that. It has also been suggested that diplomats, particularly European diplomats or British diplomats, are putting around feelers in countries like Qatar with links to both sides about potential ways to deal with sensitive issues like hostages that could potentially turn the temperature down on the conflict, if not stop it altogether.